Hey, what is going on, guys? Chubboy D1 Snipes here today. What we're doing is uh, search and destroy recovery. Uh, today, we're going to do offense. Yesterday, we did defense. <coughs> offense, obviously, uh, the Sentinels. Search and uh, destroy. First off, we're going to be talking about an A push. Um, like I said yesterday in the description that I want to try to shorten these videos up, so uh, expect this one to be quick, uh, just kind of bang bang stuff, uh, especially since I have to go over to 8 people, uh, 4 times 2 uh, both an A and a B push, um, so let me know what you guys think of that. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to get right into it. Uh, a lot of times teams would either try to stun and nade this ball right here and try to pick you off if you're the OBJ. Um, I honestly think your OBJ should be like your main slayer on this map uh, for the simple fact that he needs to get really important kills unless you're sending two guys with him. Uh, so you definitely want to dash across here because uh, this is a long, long line of sight for snipers, but it's also very predictable line of sight because they get there pre-aim it and if you're not there in two seconds uh, they're gonna leave the spot but uh, <clears throat> it's a very predictable spot uh, one of my favorite spots to come to uh, right here you see so uh, sensor do this in MLG Columbus uh, great spot right here uh, to try and just peek this uh, see if there's anybody around any of these corners um, one thing that I would recommend is sending a guy down low but I'll show you that on the other video and your main job is just to get this bomb down, of course. Uh, but being the main slayer, you want to stay alive. Um, using the bomb head glitch, uh, it's fairly easy to get a pick right here. Uh, maybe even fake plant the bomb and then pop up. Uh, I know there's a little delay after you let go of the bomb. But uh, this is a very effective way of getting the first pick. And uh, especially on the A side, if you have help. Fight, but it's not over. Uh, what we're taking a look at right here is uh, your support player for the OBJ. Uh, he can take a little back route right here. Uh, I like this way because of the fact that um, it's hard to see and you don't want anybody to know that you're back here. Uh, some people, I don't know if you can even make that jump. I don't think you can. <coughs> anyways, went the wrong way. Sorry about that. So anyways, all you're trying to do right here is get a pick on top. Uh, you're watching this right here and if you even want to push up, Head glitch this right here, just be aware you can wall bang through this, uh, so if you do see a guy up there and want to get away, you need to come all the way down here, uh, not just come right here, but uh, this is just a good spot to make sure uh, <clears throat> your guy with the bomb is getting uh, getting that bomb down as quickly as possible, and uh, just staying alive, and your main goal, uh, he should probably go back behind the concrete wall when after he's done planting, you can come all the way back here, listen for that, uh, that sneaky defuse and just stay alive down here uh, after you get the bomb down it's super hard for the defense to push you and uh, make a move on that bomb uh, what you're looking for right here on uh, offense uh, a push is you're uh, looking for a guy just to watch uh, this long line of sight um, <clears throat> you want him to get here as quickly as possible and just peek this to make sure that there's a sniper back there but uh, the very first thing you want to do is make sure nobody's rushing your OBJ or Slayer. If you can just, you don't even really have to watch and try to get that pick, but just watch this spot. Uh, make sure that no, after you are sure there's not a sniper back there, uh, maybe hop down here. Just head glitch this right here. Uh, you can really, really box this up because people have got to come from some weird, weird angles to try and get uh, to the bomb after it's planted. Uh, so just watch this. Uh, you'll have a guy watching your flank. Um, if you don't want to get that aggressive, uh, just watching this right here, watching this mid alleyway for somebody that's pushing a flank, or maybe just laying right here and helping out your flank guy. Uh, really anything will work. You guys are just trying to cut the map in half and force the defense to make a move on you after you get the bomb planted. Uh, the very last guy that you're uh, going to have on <coughs> offensive A push is just a guy watching flank. There's several different spots to do this from. Uh, right here is a popular spot. Um, you may have to have your uh, middle guy watch this doorway and on top, but from this spot, it's pretty easy to get a kill. Uh, it's a very careless spot that the defense does not look for when they're flanking all that often. Um, another good spot is all the way back here. I don't know why, but it's hard for some people to see in this grass. If you hide right here, you can see a lot of the flank. Uh, you may not be able to pick up the kill as easily, so you need to be like heads up, letting your teammates know. 
but it's a good spot as well. Um, another good spot right here in this corner. Um, a lot of teams won't look here. It's very close to the doorway, so a lot of people will be looking back there first. You can kind of pop out and get a kill. Uh, and then the very last spot you want to go to is uh, Krim. Use this in MLG Columbus, and I really like this spot because um, you have a height advantage as well. So you're not laying down in the grass. You're not hiding in a corner. Uh, you can pop out of the way if you miss your first few shots, and uh, it's just a really effective spot to watch the flank from. Uh, just make sure you communicate and uh, help your teammates out, and uh, just make sure you, you make yourself useful, even if you're not on the front line. Uh. <clears throat> All right, guys. As you know, I like to stick to the uh, typical bomb sites. Um, so what we're going to do uh, for this is uh, your very first guy. Uh, this probably should be your flank guy to be completely honest uh, you want your flank guy to fake the a push so what he's going to do is he's going to cross because more than likely any good team is going to have a sniper back there uh, you want them to get this done uh, so you want a guy to cross for sure and then uh, a lot of obj's and people will sit up there in that corner but here's what you're going to do you are going to chill out here here in this corner or uh maybe lay down right here uh, you're just trying to cut the map in half just watch this back side uh, maybe even kind of play around in here just make sure nobody's flanking you you just want to stay alive in the back try and make sure that nobody's coming from the middle and uh, this kind of gets to be a complicated push on the B side a lot of teams don't do it a lot of teams are scared to do it and I don't blame them honestly because it's a very hard thing to do so you want your you want the defense to rotate over to A as much as possible, so that's why you delay this B push, uh, let this guy cross, and uh, then you work from there. Search and destroy. Uh, on offense, <clears throat> with this fake A push, uh, you're going to have some very complicated stuff going on. So as you have that flank guy go over to A, uh, what you're going to do with your middle guy is... Uh, <clears throat> send him if he wants to use a sniper rifle it doesn't really matter but this is just watch this middle right here um, you're gonna be pushing up rather quickly but you want to make sure that everyone stays out of the middle uh, just for flanking and rushing sake uh, if you can get a pick right here great uh, maybe they will think that you're still watching a flank so maybe they'll try and trade let your other two guys pick them up but uh, anyway, you're just watching uh, the middle right here. Now, as soon as this guy over here watching the flank calls out maybe a rush or something like that, or whether it's pushing him or flanking, uh, that's when you guys are going middle. Uh, your very first look is towards uh, this back truck, uh, making sure there's no one back there, and then you're going straight up top. Uh, all you're doing is making sure that you guys don't get flanked from up top or from back behind you uh, which is good because if they're pushing on the A if you have defense rotating over to the A side then you should be clear from the middle at least for a few seconds uh, let you clear this up out here and let you watch the back uh, trade the guy watching B with your other two teammates that are pushing through um, this is a pretty good strat I really really like this strat and I think that this guy is an important part of that he's got to be able to communicate and trade kills right here all right, here is the, uh, the bread and butter of this push. Uh, you want your Slayer and OBJ going in this room. Uh, don't come up these stairs yet. Uh, you're both really just going to chill out here. Um, one ballsy move that you can make, if you want to send your Slayer up top here, uh, he's got to get there quick. But he's got to get in here and try to just kind of slip in here. Don't let anybody see him. Uh, if they do, expect a gunfight uh, somewhere back here because they're going to know and they're going to rotate and at least expect a flank. Uh, so maybe you can trade with one guy, maybe they still think that you're going A and you trade the kill and then get the bomb down, uh, but your main slayer has got to, he's got to be ready for a gunfight if he comes up here and uh, the middle guy has also got to be prepared for somebody maybe pushing him too. Uh, so, but I suggest sending both people uh, down low and just waiting for that first pick by uh, either your mid sniper or your right side flank guy or at least the call out of the rotation and then you want to push this as quick as you can so you want to boost out here all three of you you want the middle guy coming up and you guys pushing in the beat 
uh, bomb site at the exact same time. Uh, so the Slayer coming in here, checking doors, uh, head glitching this bomb site, uh, not really worrying about behind him because of the guy on top of you guys. So he's just really keeping your bomb carrier alive and uh, chilling out here. We lost that fight. Alright, for your very last guy on the Destroy B push, the uh, fake A on offense, your <clears throat> heart of your team, the OBJ, just chilling right here, waiting for either that first pick or call out to rotation. Uh, let your Slayer go first, or you can go first and trade the kill, uh, whichever one of you guys think will be like a better one on one player, because whoever trades this kill will m most likely be in a 1v1 uh, at some point. Uh, I think it's easier to play 1v1 on this bomb rather than the A bomb on offense anyway. So uh, work that out with your team. Uh, maybe I'll do a discussion on that, trades and 1v1s, seeing on who you want to pick up the bomb. Uh, either way, you want to come on the inside of this pillar. Uh, pretty important if your Slayer jumps up, gets killed. Uh, you can probably get away and maybe get this bomb down while your guy up top trades. Um, I prefer you can get picked from up here if you plant on this side of the bomb. Uh, not a huge fan of it. I like to plant on this side of the bomb because you your top player is watching the cross and your slayer can watch out this window. Uh, you might get naded, but your main goal is to get that bomb down. Let your slayer uh, come outside here and let these two work this whole building together and that's how you should win this uh, offensive B push. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. hope you guys watched defense and liked it yesterday. Um, I have more of these coming out this weekend. Uh, tomorrow we'll we probably fight, see, or not tomorrow. Not uh, Saturday you'll Out probably be seeing some kind of destiny video more than likely. Then you'll see Search Sunday, Monday will be uh, probably solar search and destroy. Uh, the, the last map in the rotation that I will cover for search and destroy uh, that will make all of them and then we will probably move on to more destiny Tuesday um, probably a lot of destiny Tuesday a lot of destiny Wednesday then come back at the end of the week I'll have finals over I'll have a bunch of cod ready to, for you guys and uh, get into some heavy hard point at the end of next week so thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And uh, as always, <clears throat> you guys have a good one.